Welcome to this special edition of Magenta Otter Travels, where today we will attempt to give you 10 hints on how you can pronounce British place names and hopefully not get laughed at, ridiculed, or scolded too much. Of course, we're Americans, but we've been to Britain a bunch of times and we've had some experience saying place names. So we've learned how to say a few of them. I'm sure that we'll say some wrong and that's what the comments are for. So British people watching this video, tell us what we're saying wrong. We're open to feedback, aren't we, Ian? Of course. If you haven't already subscribed to Magenta Otter Travels channel, please do because we love subscribers. We and, do. And if you would like to know when the next video comes out, hit the little bell button after you subscribe. We like that sound. <laughs> no, it doesn't make a sound for us. Oh my goodness. Okay, so here's the thing about place names in Britain. English be crazy. Okay, so here's an example. Read those four words right there. Through, thorough, bow, cough. So all of those words have O-U-G-H in them, but they're pronounced four different ways. So if you're an American and you go to Britain and you see that word. Slough. How do you know it's pronounced slough and not slough? like you're sloughing off dead skin cells. I mean, you don't know until you say it wrong and someone corrects you. So here are some hints that will help you not say everything right, because we can't guarantee that. We don't say everything right. But I do. Yeah, you think you do. No, I, I, I know how to pronounce most of it. Okay, well, <laughs> it's a good thing we have the expert here helping us out today. Yeah. All right, here we go with hint number one. Okay, the first convention is ham. So... But it's not ham. It's not ham. That's the trick. Whenever you see ham at the end of a place name, don't say ham. We're gonna start with our favorite ham, which is the place our flat is. Cheltenham. Cheltenham. It's spelled like Cheltenham. Don't say Cheltenham. It's Cheltenham. And then you've heard of a famous palace. Buckingham. Yep. And then there's the place Ian's ancestors were from. Birmingham. Yes, this is very confusing for Americans because the place in Alabama is Birmingham. Yeah. Yes. But when you go to England, it's a big city and it's Birmingham. Birmingham. And then there's Robin Hood. Nottingham. Nottingham. And then we have Mouth. And when you see Mouth, don't say mouth. And this one, you'll probably know because we've all heard of Plymouth Rock. That's correct. And we also know about Bournemouth. That is a famous seaside destination, which is lovely in Southern England. And one of our favorite towns, Sidmouth. That's where I wanted to retire. But then I bought a flat in Cheltenham. Just kidding, Cheltenham. Then we've got Burbs. So the place name that I hear most people mispronounce uh, coming from the U.S. is Edinburgh because it is, I would think, the most popular tourist destination mm -hmm. in Scotland. Yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful city. And don't say Edinburgh because people will grimace. You need to say... Edinburgh. Edinburgh. Now, this is funny. But with a Scottish brogue, of course. I'm not, not going to attempt that. Yeah, you're not, and neither should they, so don't say that. Okay. So this is funny because we know how to say Edinburgh, but in July, we're planning to go stay at a lovely place in Harry Potter land called... Bamburgh. Bamburgh. But the first week that we were busy planning the trip and choosing places to stay, we were pronouncing it Bamburgh. You were pronouncing it Bamburgh. You said it first. Don't, don't just because this is on record, <laughs> don't pretend like you weren't saying Bamburgh. You were totes saying Bamburgh. But then when I was talking to a lovely person at the b, &B I was trying to reserve and she said Bamburgh, I'm like, ooh, note to self. <laughs> it's just like Edinburgh. When it's a burg with an H on the end, don't say burg, say burra. Next is Barry. All right, Barry, Burry. So let's talk about some of these place names because um, they're not all pronounced the same way. 
they're either some version of bury or brie. So take a take a crack at those. Banbury, Tetbury, Canterbury. The Canterbury Tales. You maybe read that in school. <clears throat> Sudbury. Shrewsbury. That's yeah. a tough one. Yeah, so Shrewsbury not only has the bury thing going on, but then it's got that shrews thing that you say shrews. And I think that's like Shrewsbury. Shrewsbury, yes. Yeah. So you yes. wouldn't say bury, you would just say Shrewsbury. Shrewsbury. And of course, Glastonbury. What's Glastonbury fame for? famous for? Um, uh, mythical legends. I thought it was famous for rock concerts, festivals. Oh, yeah. And of course, that too. Yeah. And Banbury is famous because my brother lived there. This is another one that I hear uh, Americans mispronounce all the time, and that's Wick, because there's an awesome castle that's, I think, the largest, most complete medieval castle in Britain, so it's a very famous tourist spot, right? Yep. And it's called? Warwick. Warwick Castle, and that's also a county, Warwickshire, and so don't say Warwick. No. Because that'll make people cross. Yep. And then similar, but even more confusing is Wark. So pronounce that place, Mr. Know-it-all who knows how to say everything. Southwark. Yeah, Southwark. Looks like South Wark, but it's Southwark. The next one I think is a really important one because Americans and really people from anywhere other than Britain say this one wrong all the time because it's ridiculously confusing. And that is the Cesters and Chesters. Mostly it's Cester, C-E-S-T-E-R. And the first example we'll mention is our favorite county because it's where Cheltenham is. Gloucestershire. Gloucestershire. And then Americans know this county because it's named after a sauce that is famously difficult to pronounce. Worcestershire. And then there's another place that you will see in Britain which follows the same convention of you don't say Cester, which is Leicester. Leicester. And then there's this crazy place which has a Chester in it. And Ian, who knows how to pronounce everything, how do you say that? Uh, okay, I plead the fifth on that one. See, it's, <laughs> it looks like God Manchester. It's Gumpster. <laughs> yeah, there okay. was. There, I don't know that place. So there's no way. There's that. no way that you would know how to say that unless you heard someone say it and you just imitated them. And then same thing with this last I would, one. I would be willing to bet bet that most people who live in the UK that have never heard of that town wouldn't be able to pronounce it. Well, and this is a very important point because not all British people are born knowing how to say all these crazy place names. So people, of course, know the places that are around them, but if they go to a different part of England or a different country, they may well some, say something wrong as well. Okay, this last one, how do you say that? Bister. Nope, it's Bister. Bister. Oh, that's yeah. right. Bister. That one's actually not far from the Cotswolds, but another one, no way you'd say that right unless you heard someone say it. This one I call the Coombs and the Frooms. So it looks like comb, but because it has an E on the end, you don't say comb. So there's this gorgeous, gorgeous little place in the Cotswolds, one of my favorites called... Castle Coombe. Yes, lovely place. And then there's this other place that makes me think of a character in Pride and Prejudice. I Wickham. I Wickham. And then our favorite Frooms. Bishop's Froom and Cannon Froom, and there's also Castle Froom. Right. So if you see those words, that's how you say it. But the, fr the Frooms have an ooh sound, and then the Combs, you just say come. And a lot of these places are named after rivers. So there's the River Froom, and that's how these places got their names. Shire means county. And so almost every county in England has a long version of the county name that has Shire in it. 
like Worcestershire, which we've already mentioned, and then kind of, you could go on and on. Hampshire, Gloucestershire, Herefordshire, Yorkshire. It's just rule breakers. There's no consistent rule for how to say these things right. It's just a bunch of strange words that you're never gonna know how to say unless we or someone else Tells you. It says them for you first. All right, so the river in England, the Thames, how do you say that? Thames. Thames. And then the next place? Uh, Lemster. Lemster. And then the famous palace where Winston Churchill spent time growing up. Blenheim, which is from a German town or Austrian town. Um, so it's obviously a bastardization of uh, the original pronunciation. Yeah, which actually, you know, that's an interesting thing. Other languages being the, the origin of these words, that's true in the U.S. Our hardest cities to say are usually either French or Native American or something where they're not even English based. And that's why it's not phonetic how you pronounce things. Okay, so do the next ones. These these have never made any sense to me, these ER ones. So there's Darby. Which is a county. Hertfordshire, Berkshire. Doesn't make any sense. Um, and then, then there's this one. Now this is a Sester, where you actually say Sester, just to make it compu confusing. Yep, Siren Sester. Yeah, but the, the funny part of this one is the beginning. You would not want to say siren sester if you saw that the first time and then you might know this one from monopoly and from pennsylvania reading reading don't say reading i don't think that they would know it from monopoly okay tell us americans when you play monopoly do you say reading i think of oh Mon is it on the american monopoly reading railroad reading railroad yeah because hmm. in pennsylvania i think we say reading okay if you know anything about pennsylvania please chime in all right, and then the last one? Coventry. Coventry. Yeah, I never hear Americans say that right. We always say. Coventry or something like that. Coventry. Coventry. It's like Coventry. Oh, okay. Yeah. Very strange. Yeah. And also, just remember, all Brits don't know how to say all these place names either. So we're in it together, doing our best. And in conclusion, thanks so much for watching. And do something good in the world today.